So, um, can we start with your name and the name of the piece you contributed to Slate? I'm Ingrid Allen, and my painting is on the cover of The Third Slate. I did it about 14 years ago, and uh, I just did a painting last week of the same boxing gloves, and I've changed a little bit, and so have the gloves, but I'm hoping it comes out good, and that's actually that piece is in the collection of uh, Ellen DeGeneres. Actually, that piece is in the collection of Ellen DeGeneres. And um, was that a piece originally inspired by Los Angeles? Or? Uh, I got the box of gloves in Los Angeles, so they, I think in that sense they were genuinely inspired by the city. They were uh, Tony Villaraigosa's when he was still Tony Bill. Before he met his wife, and then, you know, he expanded his name, or met the newscaster. It was when he was at UCLA. And do you see them as uh, relating to the war and the prophecy of the issue? How do you see them as fitting in? No, I, I didn't think of boxing as kind of a heroic activity, more in the tradition of the Greeks and the original games. So, um, I'm working on a pinata now. Yeah. Were you approached by Slate to, uh, to get the piece? Or... <laughs> was, I, was I inspired by L.A. or by Slake? No, approached by them uh, to give them a specific painting. No, I, I was in a bar and, and Joe Donnelly was in there and I was just naturally attracted to him and I just sort of, you know, probably for other reasons and it turned out that he was a writer of some level, so I was kind of sucked into it. And uh, what about uh, <laughs> Terrible. Slake magazine uh, appeals to you? I like to read it from the back to the front because I, I think that way it's it's interesting the way the layout works. And I like the resale value because I get free copies from Lori and then I heave them on eBay. And this being a party is going to be a particularly uh, Robert as well I think and I are going to come up on this deal who you previously interviewed. We've been filling the trunk of our car up with you know, every time she hands us another copy because she's so generous. Do you have uh, any final thoughts on this uh, I, I think that the fourth issue is going to be the best because they're going to move again, and they've had a new office, you know, a new office for every issue, and I find that really nice because I think it relates to the community.